Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to adjust your sliding patio door so you can fix it and correct it and make sure that it slides correctly. Okay, so there's a few tips I'm going to give you in this video, so make sure you stay tuned and watch it to the end. If your sliding patio door is cracked at the very top or if there's like a indentation or if it's just not sliding correctly, make sure to watch the entire video and I'm sure you're going to be able to fix your sliding patio door. Also, remember to subscribe okay and hit that notification bell that way you get notifications anytime we upload any handyman uh, videos um, that way you guys are able to benefit from it and able to see the step by steps and that way you as a homeowner or as a handyman are able to fix these things on your own okay um, hope you enjoyed this video and remember to subscribe we'll see you guys in the next video as well bye bye okay sliding patio door okay standard sliding patio door is tilting it's not closing 100 percent. so whenever you slide it it's leaving a gap up here right it can either be that much or maybe more so it's a simple fix um you don't have to worry too much about it but what you what you have to do is these sliding patio doors at the bottom they have these screws and it's this bottom screw that hold on to these wheels this track system that goes onto this rail and so this this bottom screw has to be tightened but what you need to do is you need to tilt this door forward so you grab it tilt it forward right so you close the door there's a gap up top and so what you got to do is you have to tilt it forward okay you tilt it forward and as you're tilting it forward you're screwing this one to the right because you're tightening it so that it can hold its place. If you tighten it almost all the way and it does not fix the problem still up here, what you wanna do is you wanna go to this side and you wanna tighten that bottom screw. Well, actually, I'm sorry. You wanna loosen that screw just a tad bit. That way um, it loosens and it goes down a little bit. And then that way it allows the door to go from like here, like this, at this angle to like this but it's the back one that you have to tighten up first and if you need to the front screw you just need to loosen it just a tad bit so it can go all the way through okay um, and then that way once you slide it all the way right once you slide it all the way that gap is not there and it closes it up so let me show you what i'm talking about let me go ahead and tighten that back screw Okay, so whenever you slid this, this sliding door, sometimes it feels like it's off its tracks and you're trying to close it and it goes back and forth and it feels loose. Um, now that I tighten both screws at the bottom, you slide it all the way. So I tighten the right side and I loosen just a tad bit in the front so that I can close at the very top, okay? So as you can see there, there's no gap anymore. Okay, so if you have a loose, like a, if you don't have a very good sturdy slide, um, what you wanna do is you wanna adjust the bottom. If it's loose, tighten it, and then the front one, obviously adjust it as needed as well. Um, but that's a simple fix. If that door is open from that end and it's not aligning with the actual frame. Simple fix. So that's gonna allow you to fix your sliding patio door. Hey, what's going on guys? Did you like that video? If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It helps YouTube uh, know that people are benefiting from it and are going to put it in front of the right people that have this same problem that are probably searching and looking for a video just like mine. Uh, thank you so much for watching guys. Continue to see more videos that we have uh, on our channel and just remember to always um, uh, comment below if you have any questions uh, make sure you reach out to us i'm sure either myself or somebody in the comments will be able to assist you guys thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video Bye bye